76. Dialog detection. If a system does not employ either a dialog prevention or a dialog avoidance algorithm, then a dialog situation may occur. In this situation, the system will provide an algorithm that examines the state of the system to determine whether a dialog has, uh, has occurred. Second, an algorithm to recover from the deadlock. First, single instance of each resource type. We can use a variant of the resource allocation graph called Section 76 Dialog Detection. If a system does not employ either a dialog prevention or a dialog avoidance algorithm, then a dialog situation may occur. In this situation, the system will provide an algorithm that examines the state of the system to determine whether a dialogue has, uh, has occurred. Second, an algorithm to recover from the dialogue. First, single instance of each resource type. We can use a variant of the resource allocation graph called wait for graph to detect dialogue. Wait for graph all nodes are processes. PI to PJ means that PI is waiting for PJ to release a resource that needs. Okay. And PI to PJ exists in a wait for graph if and only if the, the corresponding resource allocation graph contains two edges PI to RQ and RQ to put TJ for some resource RQ. A dialog exists if and only if the vertical graph contains a cycle. So let's look at this. Last picture. We can get from this resource allocation graph, we can get this corresponding vertical graph. So because Precise R1 is already allocated to P2, and P2 and precise P1 is requiring resource R1. So we say precise P1 waiting for P2. And that's for this, precise P2 requires resource R4, and R4 already allocated to P3. So we say P2 waiting for P3. And we look at resource R5, we can see that uh, precise P2 requires R5, but R5 already allocated to P4. So we say P2 waiting for P4. So by simplifying this graph, we get this wait for graph. And then we can see there are one cycle, two cycle, third cycle, three cycle. We have three cycles all together. So we say it is in bad log state. Okay. And uh, we must know that resource allocation wait for graph can only used for resource, each resource type only have one instance. Each, there is only one instance for each resource type. We can use resource allocation graph and the wait for graph to determine whether the system state is deadlock. Okay? So periodically invoke an algorithm that searches for cycle in the graph. An algorithm to detect a cycle in a graph requires an order of n square operations where n is the number of vertices in the graph. That means n is the number of the processes in the system. Okay. So if there are many instances of each resource type, 
We cannot use weightful graph for deadlock detection. We can use the following algorithm. So we, we say it. Uh, there are m types of resources and n processes in the system and the data first data structure. This algorithm is similar to Banker's algorithm, but it is not Banker's algorithm. First, we also have a vulnerable vector. It is length m indicates the number of available resources of each type. And we also have a location matrix. H. It is n times m matrix defines the number of resources of each time currently allocated to each process. And we have request matrix indicates the current request of each process. If request ij equals to k, it means that process pi is requesting k more instances of resource type ij. So detection algorithm that all can finish be vectors of lines i and n respectively. Initialize work equals to available. For i equals to 1, 2 till n, if allocation i doesn't equal to 0, then finish i equals false. Otherwise, finish i equals to 2. So from the definition of vector finish, we find it is different from Banker's algorithm. Okay. As for Banker's algorithm, at the beginning, we initialize vector finish i to false for all elements. But in this uh, detection algorithm, it's different. We just say at the, this time, if the process doesn't require, uh, doesn't, sorry, doesn't uh, get, doesn't get any resources, we say it finished at this time, time instance, okay, at this time instance, we say the process finished because it doesn't get any resources. But if the process high resources of the system, we say it doesn't finish. So, find an index i such that both finish i equals to false and request i smaller or equals to work. If no such i exists, go to step 4 and work equals to work plus allocation i and finish i equals to 2. Go to step 2, then we loop and loop again. So if finish i equals to false for all processes, then the system is in that log state. Moreover, if finish i equal to false, then pi is deadlocked. Okay, so let's look at example, this one. We have five processes, P0 to P4, three resource types, A, seven instances, B, two instances, and C, six instances. At time T0, we, the system state is like this. So let's look at, for, for first, we look at the definition. First, we also have work. First, work equals to available. And the finish, if the allocation i doesn't equal to zero, then finish i equals to false. Otherwise, finish i equal to two. So first, let's, let's initialize work and finish. So first work equals two. Uh, we can say because every work equals to available. Okay, so available. 
So we say work equals to zero, 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 okay? And second, we say finish equals two because uh, only no every resource, every sorry, every process have required resource, have allocated resources, have been allocated resources. So all doesn't finish. So we, we say at the present false, 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 fine. For P0, P1, P2, P3, and P4. Then we find uh, first, because P0 requires is equals to work. So first, P0 can finish. And we get P0 can finish first. And the routine is allocation resource to system. So work change to so let's say work change to zero one. Okay. After work to zero one then we can say in process P two allow requires is smaller than work. So second P two can finish. P sorry. Um gonna search now P zero now P two. So we change the pen, then we get P two here it will finish finish and the work will change to three one three okay so okay sorry <sighs> rubber and we change the pointer to pin and we get three one three okay so after work change to three one three you can see it can satisfy all the requests any request of any processes okay so after p0 p2 you can add p1 p3 p4 or any other okay so anyone and i must emphasize that this is not safe sequence because it doesn't it isn't bankers algorithm it is a deadlock detection algorithm for more instances of each process type of each resource type okay so you can see so this one will result in finish i equals two for all i so at least time t0 the the system is not deadlocked okay and p2 okay detection algorithm usage one and how often oh sorry just now we we forget this one yeah, this one. Okay. This detection algorithm simply investigates every possible allocation sequence for the processes that remain to be completed. Algorithm requires an order. Allocation is similar as banker's algorithm. Algorithm. Okay. And so detection algorithm usage when and how often to invoke detection algorithm depends on how often a deadlock is likely to occur 
How many processes will need to be rolled back when deadlock happens? If detection algorithm is invoked arbitrarily, there may be many cycles in the resource graph, and so we would not be able to tell which of many deadlock processes cause the deadlock. And Deadlock occur only when some persons makes a request that cannot be granted immediately. This request may be the final request that completes a chain of waiting processes. In the extreme, then, we can invoke the deadlock detection algorithm every time a request for a location cannot be granted immediately. In this case, we can identify not only the deadlocked site of processes, but also the specific process that caused the deadlock. In reality, each of the deadlock processes is a link in the cycle in the resource graph, so all of them jointly cause the deadlock. If there are many different resource types, one request may create many cycles in the resource graph. Of course, invoking the dialog detection algorithm for every resource request will incur considerable overhead in computation time. A less expensive alternative is simply to invoke the algorithm at defined intervals. For example, once per hour or or whenever CPU utilization drops below 40%. A dialog eventually cripples system throughout and causes CPU utilization to drop. If the de detection algorithm is invoked at arbitrary points in time, the resource graph can contain many cycles. In this case, we generally cannot tell which of the many deadlocked processes 